Okay, this is a video on how to prep the, oh, excuse me, the glazes for summer. Okay, uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, some of these glaze bottles are ridiculously dirty. Okay, um, so what you will need to do, and all the ceramics are doing this, unscrew it. Okay, you will need a little bowl of water, a sponge, and first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna clean the outside of this. Now you might want to cover your table with newspaper so that if you have a bunch of flake offs, um, you can throw it away. You might need to get a needle tool so that you can go ahead and start scraping off some of this stuff that really did not have to be here. Because if we were taking care of the glazes while we were using them, this would not be necessary. But, yeah, just, and be careful of the label because the label information will try to come off, but we're just kind of concentrating on the lid because, as you know, some of the lids don't want to close properly, and this is why. Or they get stuck, and this is why. Okay, so we want to get in there and get in those grooves Get all that cleaned out. Okay. So, while well, I've made already a huge mess, I'm gonna put down a little towel. Okay, so over by the book cabinet, there is gallons of distilled water. Okay, do not put water from the faucet into these glaze bottles. It will contaminate them, okay? This glaze is a little thick, so all you're gonna do is take a little bit of water, just like that. Just watch what you're doing, there's no measurement. It just really depends on how thick the glaze is. And then you're gonna take a paintbrush and you're going to scrape down and stir. I realize that we're not gonna be gone very long for summer, but you would be amazed how quickly these glazes will evaporate. Okay, so we need to do that. And then the lid. We need to scrape all of that into our container. Get as much of it as you can. And then this needs to be cleaned out. Okay, so if you need to go get more water or whatever, Maybe another toothbrush to help you clean all this out. That might be good. So that way you're getting into the crevices. Because once again, this is something that did not need to happen, even though it happens every year. Um, because people are in a hurry and so we do this every year. This is not anything new. But everything needs to be done. Okay, so once you have this uh, fairly clean, you're going to take it over to the sink and you are going to rinse it out. Um, make sure that you dry it off before you put it into onto your um, lit or onto your bottle, sorry. Um, 
dry it off so it doesn't have any of that nasty faucet um, water on there. And make sure that this is really uh, stirred up and that you got all of the glaze off the outside of where the lid goes on. Then you will take the lid, put it on, and then put it back into the cabinet. Do not put it on the outside because we are starting to clean up for the summer. Um, and all the glazes need to go on the inside of the cabinet, okay? So we will need to do that. Yeah, make sure all this is down too. Um, there's quite a bit of this. Um, so if everybody could do, I would say 15 to 20 of these, that would be great. We should be able to get them all done without any problems um, and then be able to shut down the glazes. I realize that some people are gonna be using glazes. If you do grab one that has been cleaned, be responsible and make sure you're putting it back clean. All right, um, there's no sense in you messing up what another person has worked hard to clean but this is what needs to be done. Uh, just be, uh, just understand this is something we do every year. Um, and it is important because this is a lot of money that is in there and we need to uh, be frugal with it. So do your best, please. Um, yeah, and this is kind of what how you want it to look. You want it to look like buttermilk, like that. Okay, if it is already like this and you've stirred the bottom and it's still pretty liquidy like this, you won't have to add any of the distilled water. Um, but you'll still have to clean the lid and everything. That's gonna be very important. So if you're finished with everything, um, all your projects, this is what you should be working on and cleaning out your locker. Um, I will have an area for you to put your supply bag. And then we'll go from there. Okay, thanks.